Mercury, retrograde, in Capricorn, set to begin on December 29th, 2022. This retrograde is going to be about traditional values, success, how you're going to approach things coming from your heart. But wait, you're talking about Mercury. Why is the heart important? Well, Mercury is going retrograde on Venus. It's also Mars and Gemini retrograde. It's going on until January 12th. And since Mercury rules Gemini, that Mars energy starts to get even more wonky, as we can see. With Mercury and Venus, both in Capricorn, it's been establishing the value and the worth of your time. Are you putting yourself in the right situations and things that you resonate with? Because I guarantee those things that weren't meant for you have slowly started to fade away. This Mercury retrograde is trying to get you more aligned to your career path so you can create a secure and stable foundation for yourself based on the things that you love. But it's not just love. Venus also rules money. During this retrograde, it's time for you to relook at your income streams. Do you do something every day anyway? Do you know that there's somebody playing video games every single day, getting paid more than you would work in a nine to five? And chances are they're 12 years old. The internet is crazy wild. And Mars in retrograde in Gemini also wants you to explore the different possibilities that you can have with this new year starting on a retrograde. As a matter of fact, too, there's a lot of recollection where you come into the truth of how to successfully enterprise on what you enjoy. I am consistently yelling at all of my talented talented close friends that they need to hop on. They need to just do the thing that they love since everybody adores them. And if you're watching this, I'm talking about you and you and you and you and all y'all, everybody. Some people don't want to follow their dreams due to financial restriction or they think they're not in the right place to do so. And I will be honest with you, there is never a right time to do this. You can sit here, plan out the transits, and although the astrology will always help, it's up to you to make that first step. And then that second step and be willing to mess up a little bit. I think we've all been a little bit too serious when it comes to some things. And I don't think it's seriousness we need. It's just more determination. Back to Mars for a second. Mars retrograde in Gemini has been causing problems with a lot of people's decision making. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? Should I try this? Should I try that? And in my personal case, uh, should I go live? Should I make a YouTube video? Uh, should I send a tweet? Should I make a TikTok? Uh? It do get redundant sometimes. But because of Gemini's wit and mental agility, it is going to be challenging you to try out different things. Both of these retrogrades are going to be ending around the same time. As a matter of fact, right before Aquarius season. So all of the themes of communication breakdowns, delays, miscommunications, problems with decisions are all going to slowly start to revolve resolve themselves mercury retrograde by the end of next month so maverick what do you suggest we do my biggest key for this mercury and mars retrograde is to dig up the archives of the things that you've done before let's say you used to do shows go and watch that old show that you did where were you at then go pull up an old coloring book you did maybe all the colors don't match up but that's part of the point did you not enjoy what you did at the time look through your entire camera roll what vibes were going on when you were at your happiest don't you want to recreate those things within your life now in your own new and special way. I talk about in my 2023 astrology ebook about how January is kind of meant to have you go back and redo what you know needs to be done. And in that process, you are gaining the confidence to say who you are to anyone you meet. And that's the power of Pinesaw, baby. And since I feel the brain fog slowly rolling in of Mercury retrograde, I will give you the most important transits, which are a part of this Mercury retrograde cycle. These are the three most important days to look out for during Mercury retrograde. Day number one, we have December 29th, when Mercury retrograde begins because of its conjunction to Venus. This is happening at a Pisces degree as well. And I really think this is like a reawakening of the childhood dream in real time. Or I think a lot of people are leaving jobs in situations that they know don't apply to them or trying to find alternative solutions on how they can start to develop their work life. 
as well as their spiritual life. People have been talking about 2023 being a seven year, which is a year of spirituality, tapping into the God consciousness and opening up the seven chakras of the body. With the opening of these energy systems slowly happening for the collective, we get to reinvent ourselves with a version of us that is closer to our souls. And we won't have to mask like crazy to do it. Shout out to my people with the neuro stuff going on. We the most magical of them all. On January 7th, we have the sun joining Mercury for what we know as Mercury Kazemi. When this happens, that means the messenger of the gods is going to the sun to give all the information that has come across in its journey thus far. When Mercury puts the review and the reassessment that he has seen amongst the collective, it brings it to the light sphere that energizes and powers our entire life. The sun then gets to implement a new channel of information for us that we then take for the rest of that Mercury retrograde. Spirit will give you a message through a synchronicity, through someone that you know, or through an altering life event to show you what more you need to do throughout this retrograde to prepare for when it goes direct. So assume around January 7th, you are going to get some big news, most likely surrounding something career-focused, money-related, or you might even get set up to get some accolades. Either way, pretty dope. Can't be mad at it. For the rest of retrograde after that Mercury Kazemi, we have Mercury making a square to Chiron, giving you that one last shot to really make sure that you're giving it your all as far as how you're going to be setting up your upcoming goals. And then Mercury trines the North Node, forcing you to speak Speak your destiny forward. Whatever lessons you end up developing over this retrograde, by the very end of it, is getting ready to slingshot you forward after the Mercury shadow ends. Translation, by February, you will understand how to fit more money within your lifestyle, how to communicate with people of high caliber, and how to invest in yourself in a way different way than you used to. If you want to make content, make that content. It's as easy as having a cell phone in your hand. We are the first generation to do this. Let's really pioneer this shit. Man, I really do know that life can be confusing sometimes. And after my tenure in this astrology department for the last five to six years, I've decided to offer myself as a personal astrologer. Honestly, I'm super proud of myself for even being in this position to begin with. And thank all of you who've worked with me and helped me gain the confidence through the years of work having this happen. All the information for this will be on my website, but I will be your personal astrologer for three months. Within that time frame, we meet every single week and we go over an astrology development plan based off your life, your goals, and how to tap into all of that with the astrology at hand. But the professional astrologer is probably the best deal you're going to get in astrology today, period. There's also payment plans available for it, but I almost guarantee you rock with me, it's going to pay itself off in like a month and a half watch. My final thoughts on this Mercury and Capricorn, don't be afraid to be all that you are, even in the face of people you know won't like what you do. Find your center this retrograde and you're going to win for the rest of the year. Much love as always and subscribe for more. Peace!